Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am Sunil sir and I am back with a new video. Friends, in this video we are going to focus on the circulatory system of cockroach. One of the most difficult topic you can say but I will be putting it in a very simplest way. Whenever we talk about circulatory system of cockroach, we need to understand that it consists of two components. One is the heart and second is the blood. As far as the heart is concerned in cockroach, we need to understand that they are 13 chambers. We need to say 13 chambered heart divided into two parts. 3 chambered heart in the thoracic region and 10 chambered heart in the abdominal region. So we can say 3 chamber thoracic heart and 10 chamber abdominal heart. Whenever we talk about the blood of the cockroach, we need to understand cockroach belongs to arthropoda which is non-caudate. So the blood will be white in color. White color blood called as hemolymph and this hemolymph consists of two components one is the cells and the plasma how many cells are there in hemolymph so we can say 30,000 hemocytes present in per millimeter cube of blood what the plasma consists of the plasma consists of the food and the nitrogenous waste the blood in cockroach does not carry any respiratory gases now we need to understand how to draw the heart of the cockroach so it is 13 chambered heart so remember the normal heart that we used to draw for somebody whom we loved so this is how the 13 chamber heart is drawn in the cockroach's body and these hearts each chamber will be showing one small opening this small opening that I am drawing is called as ostia and what is the role of the ostia? It allows the entry of the blood in the heart. Once the heart is filled, it closes and it helps in pumping the blood. So the heart is supported in position by the help of alary muscles. 13 chambered heart having 12 pairs of alary muscles and what is the role of the alary muscles? The alary muscles what they do they hold the heart in position so this is aorta the chambers of the heart and the ostia what is ostia small opening present on the heart what is the role of the alary muscles it holds the heart in position like as we have our heart holded in position by the help of pericardial muscles in that same way the cockroaches they have alary muscles now how we need to draw the circulatory system of cockroach so here i will be drawing side view of the circulatory system so that it may be easy for you to understand most important part to be taken care of that the cockroach they have two diaphragms we have only one diaphragm but the cockroach has two diaphragm the dorsal diaphragm and the ventral diaphragm because of this dorsal and the ventral diaphragm the cockroach's body is divided into three chambers so you can see the first chamber the second chamber and the third chamber now these chambers are very important so dorsal diaphragm and the ventral diaphragm results in the formation of the three chambers the upper chamber is called as pericardial sinus or it is also called as dorsal sinus so what is the role of the pericardial sinus it is very much simple that they are going to have heart in that area the middle one is called as middle sinus or it is also called as peri visceral sinus what is the role of the perivisceral sinus it is to have all the important organs like the digestive system and all and the third one is the ventral sinus which is also called as perineural sinus in this the nerve cord of the cockroach will be present or you can say nervous system is present so to remember dorsal sinus heart middle sinus important organ and the ventral sinus is the nerve cord so this is the nerve cord which i am drawing cockroaches they don't have well developed brain as such but they have some ganglions present let's draw the heart in the dorsal diaphragm so whenever we draw the heart in the dorsal sinus which is created by dorsal diaphragm so again it starts from the head area 13 chambered heart we need to draw and when we count the three chamber heart will be in the thoracic region and the remaining 10 chambers will be in the abdominal region as i told you on the heart there will be small openings those openings are called as ostia as the ostias are open the blood will enter inside the heart once the heart is completely filled up with blood the ostia will close and then heart is going to pump the blood in the body of the 
कॉक्रोच एंड हार्ट इज होल्डेड इन पोजिशन बाय दी हेल्प ऑफ एलेरी मसल्स वट दी एलेरी मसल्स आर अटैच टू दी डॉर्सल डाइफ्रम एज वेल एज टू दी डॉर्सल सेगमेंट एंड द डॉर्सल सेगमेंट इज कॉल्ड एज टर्गम और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज टर्गाइड्स नाउ दिस इज द लेबलिंग सो वी हैव द एल्टा वी हैव द हार्ट द एलेरी मसल्स ट्वेल्व पेयर्स and the small openings called as ostia how the blood flows in the cockroach's body let's take a look the blood starts from the aorta from aorta it is pumped into the head from head it will travel into the ventral sinus or it is also called as perineural sinus after traveling to the perineural sinus it passes the ventral diaphragm and once it passes the ventral diaphragm the blood enters in the middle sinus or periviscral sinus in the periviscral sinus it will supply food and will collect all the nitrogenous waste and once the middle sinus is satisfied by the blood then the blood is transported to the dorsal sinus it passes the dorsal diaphragm and enters in the pericardial sinus what will happen here here once the dorsal sinus is filled up with blood the ostia will open up all the blood will enter inside the heart of the cockroach and the ostia will close and again the heart is going to pump the blood into the head from head to ventral sinus then to ventral diaphragm then to middle sinus then to dorsal diaphragm then into the dorsal sinus ostia opens up blood enters inside the heart again the process start so friends this is how you can remember the circulatory system of cockroach in a very simplest way if you have understood the concept don't forget to give a like to the video and don't forget to share your like motivates me to make more such easy and simplified videos for you thank you very much have a great day